It's beer o'clock on me and Ale Craft Beer. It's day number 23 on the Brewer's Advent Calendar. It's looking a bit of a mess now, isn't it? Um, that was a wonderful pic picture on the front of there once upon a time. Now it looks like it's been shot at by the days of the month. Right, yeah, beer number 23, where are we? Down here in the corner. Um, it's coming, it feels like the end. It definitely feels like the end. I've really, whoa. I've really, really, really enjoyed this box. I really have. This is our first, I think it's our first Keller beer in the box. But yeah, just one more to go after this. This, being, this beer has been brewed according to the Bavarian Purity Law of 1516. Schloss Brewery Elling, Ellingen. 1690. 1690, that's amazing. 5.1% uh, ABV. Again, we've had a wonderful selection of beers from all over the place, really all over Germany, from Weiss beers to Pils to Keller beers to this Keller beer. Rolsch beers, Imperial Weissens, Imperial Pilsners. Yeah, it's been pretty, it's been a pretty special box, a pretty special box. Um, would I buy it again with two beers to go? Two pound a can, never tried a beer. And I've, I've reviewed seven and a half thousand beers on YouTube. And, and out of the 24 beers in this box, I haven't reviewed any of them, which is really cool. So each beer has been kind of individual to me. I'm going to use... Now, what I do with this box is, because I don't know what I'm getting, I get two glasses that I might think are pretty good for whatever beer comes out of this box. And... Keller beer, I could use this one, but I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the regular British tulip glass, tulip pint glass for this one. So Keller is another word to store, I believe, in German. My German is rubbish, but um, Lager definitely means to store. In German but Keller does as well I think Keller means cellar yes Keller means cellar so Keller beer cellar beer comments tell me if I'm right or wrong so it's another one of those style of German beers where they store it they, they, they cellar the beer to improve on flavor over time Looks wonderful. Looks absolutely wonderful. Good levels of carbonation. Hazy. Straw coloured beer. Yeah, looks good. One to two finger. White head. Let's get the aroma. Malt. There's a... There's a certain level of sweet malt that just runs from beginning to end on this on this palette. I like it. There's a certain number of German beers that you get the aroma of the beer and it almost has a sense of wort. It has that sense of of the brewing process where the transfer happens and you get a little glass of warm wort in a brewery. There's nothing quite like it. It smells delicious, really delicious. Slightly lemony, hoppy kind of aroma coming through. Spicy, peppery. Yeah, this is going to be a nice multi number, I think. Let's dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's good. 
That's good. That's really good. Really good traditional kind of beer. Traditional German style beer that really does make you think of Christmas. I mean, I'm <coughs> I'm a day or two before because I need to process the video. I need to upload it to YouTube. I need to edit it. So I'm a couple of days before, but not far. It's only about, well, Christmas Day is Saturday and I'm reviewing this Monday morning at nine o'clock. So we're not far away. We're not far away. We're only five days away from, from the big day now. And it, it really is starting to feel a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Especially with the weather, it's quite dark out there. It's nine o'clock in the morning, we still don't have a decent amount of light out there. So the carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. The inside of the mouth. You're left with a almost wheaty, biscuity, wort-like flavour. It goes over to be slightly peppery on the back end with a slight lemon flavour. And a moderate, I'm going to say a moderate bitterness. It's sweet, moderately sweet moderately bitter but it's a decent one it really is a decent decent tasting beer i like the fact that it's got a little bit of haze going on there <clears throat> i like the fact that you have this kind of wonderful lacing on the glass but have a look as i rock the beer back and forth you can see that carbonation chasing the the head of the glass. I think it is probably about time now where we start to discuss, would you, I mean, we got one beer to go. I think we'll be able to give a an absolute, I'm 99% sure now, more or less 100%, but I'd be able to give you a 100% answer to my would I buy this box again next year on the next beer but I'm 99% sure after drinking all of these beers that yes I've been mightily impressed I've been mightily impressed with this advent calendar um, it's the first time I've done a Christmas advent calendar on the channel I would like your feedback because of course it takes up one of my beer release slots every day Every day it takes up a release slot. Is it been something that you've enjoyed? Has it been something that you'd seen? Like me, you don't know what's coming next. We're pulling a beer out and and, it, and it's a beer that nobody quite knows what they're going to be tasting or what they're going to be getting. And it's been a bit of an exciting kind of process. Or, or on the other hand, have you found it to be a bit of a process you know where yeah okay maybe the first five days was interesting enough but then it becomes a bit of a grind i'd like to know your comments i'd like to know your comments because because some of you would have bought the box a lot of you probably wouldn't have done but you're still interested in the beer right um <clears throat> first cal Schloss Brewery, Schloss Trant, Ellingen in Germany, 5.1% ABV, first Cal Calabria, unfiltered, yeah it's good, I like it, it's a really good Calabria, I like it enough to give it a stone the crows 9 out of 10, so 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer, please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom! Cheers.